coach was talking about this past weekend where homecoming was a great atmosphere. You started off a little bit slowly offensively, but managed to keep yourself in the game, and that's kind of been a little bit of a theme for you guys lately, being able to force the issue and get some extra presenters offensively, but just not able to capitalize on Saturday. Very great homecoming atmosphere, and just uh, upset that we didn't get that win to go with that great atmosphere that we hit, had here at home. Um, but we did start off, I wouldn't say necessarily slow, um, but I didn't think that we started off uh, executing. As we went back and looked at the film, we started off pretty good and uh, really scored on our first offensively possess offensive possession. But then we gave up some offensive rebounds, and then we missed some easy, easy shots around the basket that kind of threw us off. So um, not so much a slow, slow start, but not a start that we would have but this is a couple of things that you guys have really worked on and improved on. As mentioned, the turnovers, but also capitalizing when you get to the free throw line. And it's just a matter of being able to, to get repetitions. And now they all seem to have really gotten into a rhythm once they get to the stride. We're doing a better job at the free throw line. I, I still think that those eight free throws that we missed hunted us. When you look at the final score, you take uh, a couple of those and put them in, especially when they're front ends a one and one. It can make a difference in the game, but we make sure that they shoot free throws every day, um, inclusive of when they're winded so it could be game-like situation um, and really encouraging them to focus on knocking those down because it can't come down to that one possession where you're at the free throw line that can be uh, the difference in the game. And we talked about it after the game on Saturday as well, how the rotation and how the girls can kind of break into it. We saw what Deja been able to do in the last couple of games, getting really solid minutes off of the bench. And uh, it's just that mentality of the next person up whenever the number is called. It's, it's been great to have bench production. And when I talk about bench production, those who come in off, not only uh, contributing uh, offensively, but there's a lot of things that they're doing that's not in the stance. And Deja uh, has come off of the bench and has bought a leadership presence on the floor that's needed in the PG um, area. She has scored. Uh, she has set up some people to score, but just the more um, controlled environment and, and what she's bringing on the defensive end as well has been pleasant to watch. I'm very excited. I'm very happy for her uh, that she's been able to come on as of late. And at the position on the floor, which basically equates to a quarterback, and you have so many different looks and so many different styles that you could throw at a team now. And you have four different players that are on the point guard position this year. Absolutely. And each of them bring different things. When Jewel is at the point, uh, we can get the tempo sped up, both on the offensive and defensive end. When Danielle is at the point, we have more control at the point. She looks to set up the offense and run it. When Ariel is at the point, we have a combination of both. The offense tempo is a little bit slow. Uh, but she can score as well. And then with Deja at the point, you have a little bit of both. She can push in transition of offense, but right now she's bringing that leadership to the floor that we need. And you're back to this is some in-state schools this week. And starts with Nichols, who played a lot of close games in conference, just won a close conference game. And uh, just talk about how you guard them, especially with obviously Jenny Nash has been a lot for them, but Imani White, who's who's missed a lot of time this year, pretty guard oriented, a little bit more this season. Yeah, they they are pretty heavy in the guard area, and we're gonna look to uh, stick to what we've been doing, and people again gonna have to adapt for, uh, to our defense. I think we've been doing a really good job on the defensive end. We just been have struggled. We have struggled putting the ball. Back in the basket. So we're not going to change up much what we've been doing defensively. We're still going to press. We're still going to play some man. We're still going to play some zone. Uh, just being aware of where the shooters are, being aware of Nash, knowing where she's at on the floor at all times, especially in transition, knowing that Imani is coming back. The more games she gets under the belt, her belt, the more she's going to get back into the flow. She's a really good guard. But then you got the freshman Tia Charles that really has stepped up in Imani's uh, absence. That really gets the, uh, the guard play going and she uh, can shoot the three as well as get to the rim. So we're well aware, aware of what they have in the guard play. But again, uh, we're just going to play our defense and look for our defense to create our offense. McNeese and just kind of looking ahead to that matchup. Uh, McNeese is playing solid basketball uh, all across the league right now. It's on any given night, and we know what to expect from McNeese as well, as we only have uh, one day to prepare in between. These practices here are going to be double preparation, both for Nichols uh, and McNeese. And we're going to see some pressing uh, from McNeese, so we're going to get ready for that and just take care of the ball and be ready to uh, execute our offense solidly. On both teams, we're going to have to box out. Both teams, we're going to have to take care of the ball. Both teams, we 
we're going to have to make free throws. So it's just simple basketball. It's all about us taking care of business and doing what we have to do. Thank you very much, Coach. You're welcome.